So this is the first hand I drew and you can already get to your full combo with this hand. You can normal summon your swap frog and then pitch your Numen into the graveyard. Note here that we cannot go any further because we don't have extension. So this hand works, we have the swap frog in hand, so we are going to normal summon the swap frog. Swap frog then is able to uh, put the Testado Eratonumen into the graveyard. Note here that you can also, if you do not have the swap frog in hand, that you can also just go for your gigantic sprite and then use gigantic sprite's effect to summon your swap frog onto the field. And then the next card we want to get to is, obviously you do not need sprite starter for this, you can get to your, I, like I, obviously I would go blue and then jet, but for the sake of the combo, I will just show you which core cards you need. This is one, the Swap Fork, and the other card would be your Jet. And now we have basically everything that we need. And now, obviously, uh, it's already enough. We can go into our Sprite Elf. And as you can see, uh, we basically only need these two cards. Uh, maybe you also open your Double Cross in your hand. Then you're going to set a card. We can, uh, for example, now revive something. It doesn't really matter. It's also, by the way, always nice to revive your Swap Frog. If you didn't know this already, because you can reactivate the effect, pitching another Swap Frog or your Ronin Toad. And so first you would want to, if you go, don't go for the Irato Numen combo, you would pitch your Ronin Toad in, And then after that, you can pitch even more Swap Frogs. So you can summon them again uh, all the time. But th that's not the point here. Let's go over to our opponent and then put this thing here on on. And now we are in the draw phase, activating our sprite double cross. Uh, we want to special summon to our zone. There is the Irata Numen. And of course we need to special summon this guy because if we normal summon him, he has a zero attack and can basically be run over by everything. So this is what you're seeing here. <laughs> at, at this uh, current moment in time, 0.033% uh, of people playing this. But now you have the Testudo Irata Numen on field. Your opponent cannot special summon monsters with 1000 or more attack and it is protected by your Pride Elf. So it cannot be uh, targeted with effects. Um, so this is basically indestructible if you want to other than your opponent being able to run over this and then as I already said the cool thing is that sprite can play under this card so you can just leave it up on the field and then uh, you can basically play uh, your game plan under this card. Keep in mind that if, for example, in the main phase you now activate your Sprite Elf, then you have activated Sprite Elf and that could lead into your opponent activating a Triple Tactics Talent, stealing your Testado Erat Numen. So always keep that in mind. But this is basically the lock. It's super easy to achieve. You just need your Swap Frog that you can get from your Gigantic Sprite. Just need your Sprite Double Cross that you can get via your Sprite Jet or maybe you just have it in hand. Then you go for your Sprite Elf that you, at the end of your turn, basically always want to have on your board so that fits perfectly the only thing that i have to say when it comes to this combo is of course if you summon your you basically need to summon your swap frog via your gigantic sprite if you don't have it and then you cannot summon your sprite line so you cannot jump and summon your sprite boo for example if you are missing the card and have not activated the effect the other thing is that in a perfect world you would pitch your ronin toad in via the swap frog so um, reviving the swap frog in this instant here like i showed you is not that valuable because our ronin toad is not in the grave because he needed to get our testudo erat numen into the grave so this is a bit anti-synergistic with the ronin toad in line that you want to do you could also argue removing the ronin toad for something else but i think it's still nice to have it in uh, the deck because it's really uh, that strong uh, only uh, like sad moment is of course if you have testudo erat numen in the hand then you somehow have uh, to get it to the graveyard and you do not want to normal summon this guy so then it's basically a brick in your hand which is a bit unfortunate but yeah this is the combo you can lock your opponent out of playing you can especially also lock uh, your telemets uh, opponent out of fusioning summon from the extra deck of course he can as i already said uh, normal summon his rhino heart but then would need his uh, planet pearl rhino to battle over this guy which uh, is, is a nice way to get rid of this but with terraforming to a zero it's more unlikely so yeah yeah, thanks guys for being here if you like the video thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel i hope uh, you like the video and go out to test the testudo erat numen lock especially as long as people are not aware of this and have not seen this a lot and do not know how to like out this card 
I hope you have a great day and we will see each other in the next one.